Okay, folks, it is Jim here. I am Jim, the guy in front of you. <laughs> they just walked in front. Okay, I just don't know how to do this without... Anyway, um, I went through last time of how uh, I welded the hinges and got them on there like that. Then, I just because I don't want to have to have smell all that burnt paint, and this had so much paint. Probably five layers of different kind. I was afraid it was old VP lead paint. I think I want to start it in here because I have a chimney over here I can just jump into. Um, so this is what we got. It looks kind of cool, this thing, right? I just used uh, some sanded discs my brother gave me. So, gosh, I don't even know. 12, 14 years ago, a whole bunch of them. Uh, I think they fell off a truck. <laughs> anyway. So what I did was I used them and uh, got the paint off, got the paint off, got the paint off, right? Um, and I used them, then, you know, and they, they wore to the outside, of course, right? So then what I did was I cut down uh, another disc a little bit, you know, about as much as your finger is wide. And then um, used more of the inside. There is actually more. I'll do this again for something else. Uh, use these again. So I'll get three uses out of them. Anyway, so all they did was knock it down. It took a long time. I think uh, for sure over an hour, but it's dinking around anyway. All right, so then what I did was um, uh, I made my little handly latch thingy like this here, and it was just out of some regular old steel I had laying around. I don't know where I got this, but I'm sure when I grabbed it, I thought, hey, hey, you know, yeah. So I cleaned it up a little bit with that same disc just to make everybody happy. And then what I did was, uh, I'll throw this guy down, watch yours. Okay, then I, I cut like one inch pieces off of there. The other one, these are four inches. I figured, well, so you can grab these guys. Let's put the handle in the center. And then I thought, you know what? If this thing goes, you know, it makes a vibration, it's going to want to go down anyway. So I just put the weight part of it, I, I did it right here, welded it on the back side there. I'll show you what I did. This is another, this is the other one that goes on the top. Anyway, so I welded a, a bolt on there. I used a nut that the bolt would slide through as a spacer, right? And then I have this one here, it's just, just as big as this darn uh, bolt, so it kind of threads a little bit. So then I can get it to squeeze in, you know? And then, then what I did was, uh, well, well, this one here is off the pipe, so I'll show you that one there. So I'll get real close and show you, and, you know, yes, I welded it in there, blah, blah, blah. So what I did was, let's get real close here and see what that's going on right there. Okay, so I put some buggers in there, welded it in. So, um, and then also, here's a deal that's uh, kind of okay, I guess. Um, See the hinge there? It goes past the door. So when you close the door, the hinge hits against the the outside there. So that's your stop, you know. So you don't even need any stops inside. I was going to um, use uh, some washers that I ground off here a little bit. Get over here, the rat. The washers here, right? And then I was going to use them on the outside, but over by the latch part. Um, and then they'd be outside. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, but you know what I mean. They'd overlap. So when you close the door, that uh, you know, whoa, lordy, lordy, lordy. Look at that. So, anywho, um, there we go, folks. Okay. So and they would be on the door. I guess. Well, I don't guess. I know because look, I've been doing this forever. That is that's perfect. Man. That's nice. But anyway, I was gonna put them on the door there, like that, something like that there. Give them a weld. So then, when they close, it would stop against here. But it's not necessary because of the way I placed the hinges. But I still ground them off. I did the thing. Who knows? Maybe we'll do something with them later. So anyway, so look, that, that works pretty good, huh? That's that's nice and tight. And just a real small gap because I use a jigsaw to cut that gap. Here, it seems like if I start uh, warming this up here. I might have to get that jigsaw through there again. This is mighty close there, folks. Alright. What I'm going to do 
Uh oh, oh okay. <laughs> I thought I lost my piece there. Alright. Uh, so I uh, I'll put this together quick here. I think I don't know how about quick, but you know, we'll put it together. How's that? And it's just enough to work. Kind of threads through, like, like I said already, I'm sure. Anyway, so you screw it in, you know, and then it's going to go with it. You know? It's okay. Maybe one more. No, oh, not one more. Right about there. So that there makes it to where it goes. And, uh, you know, it's in a nice place. I want to make it just a little bit more like that, right about there. Okay, so you saw that. I just screwed the darn thing in, and, and it's just a little bit worth of threads would grab it. So let's go toward in there again. We have toward and way on this one here. Whoa! Okay, a little closer. All right, so you see that the the threads are sticking out just a little bit there. The handle's in its place. Um, so we could. Oh, I gotta go around this way here. I have such a mess in here. But because of all this mess, I had every single thing we are using in here. Well, I didn't have the, the thing, of course. But uh, anyway, I did have it in another building, though. So. There you go. And uh, there's too much wire out, so. And. I do have my safety underwear on, so my eyes will be fine. Don't worry about that there. So anyway, here, let's just do this a little bit here. I'm starting at the bottom and up and uh, hit it. Whoa, look at that. All right, and another one. All right, and on my head. That's why I have a bald spot. <laughs> anyway, but look at that. It's in there. You know what? That one there, just a little bit not quite right. Now it's a little bit righter. So, and you know, we don't need much of a weld, just a little bit of a weld. Oh, whoa, 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 cowboy. Okay, so now look, we have this. This one will close too. This one's a little stiffer, but you know, it's going to loosen up. A little more Give it to it, there you go, and we got it. So now, there you go, bam. So now it's looser, it just, just had to give it a little All right. So now, these here, and if they're too hot or something like that, you know, you'll be able to just go ahead like this with a glove or something, you know, pull back. You know, I don't know why you would have to open it, unless we just want to see it. This one up here, I can understand it because uh, you might want to have uh, the dual purpose part. Remember the dual purpose part here? Um, this here's stiff right now. That's okay. I like it. Anyway, so you might want to have that open so you can see your fire. Remember, dual purpose, so if you have a little fire thing, you can look at it. Yes, I like to look at it. The flame, anyway. So you can have your door open and just ah, be on your back deck. And I made this, again, remember, we made this so it could be portable. We can take it to your house, you know, put it on your back deck, have a little fire in it, right? Or your campsite. Something like that there, you know. Or, and if you want, and if you're cold, you can put it in a tent, you'd have to put a chimney on it a little bit, or, uh, you know, and you can use the oil, or the wood, either way. So, uh, I suppose to go like that, all kinds of other stuff, camp, motorhomes, campers, I wouldn't want to put it in there and burn the place down, and then you have nowhere to sleep. But anyway, um, remember, we're still doing the baffles, and not the baffles, but the tubes that go through there, and then uh, hopefully at an angle, so that uh, naturally the air, you know, go that way, heat rises, right? If you put them straight in, then the fan, you know, they're going to do a thing, but, you know, then you have that fan behind it, which I probably will anyways have some sort of a fan uh, behind it um, for when I use it in some places. Maybe not. It depends on how big the place is, too. Anyway, so, uh, but if I put the pipes at an angle, it'll naturally just... The cold air will come from the back, it'll come out the front and keep on going. So, uh, and hopefully reach it. And if not, you get closer to the darn thing. Alright, so, that's kind of cool, huh? Uh, now, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to knock that plate in there, where I'm going to put that cast iron grate in, you know, for the dual purpose part, for when you put the wood in there. I'm going to knock him down to, oh, I don't know about there. Maybe, but just so darn close. You're going to have to have 
But I don't want to get too close to my burners here. Yes, the burner. Okay, I have my burner in here now, just, just because, right? For people who didn't see the other ones, here's the burner. I made it out of the extendable or oxygen slash oxygen bottle. Used a piece of the old uh, clothesline pole. The piece I cut out of here, I used to top that off there. Okay, it fits in, there's a hole in the bottom for people who know. And I get my air, I put that in there, right? I get my air from all these little holes down here. And I may have to take some of that metal that I was talking about earlier. Oh, Lordy. And uh, put it like this here underneath it to raise it up a bit. Because this is off the coast. It's about a half inch off the, you know, off the ground after you get it in there. But uh, here's the thing too, people. I would use the one inch ones like I did for these here, okay? But um, in order to balance it, right, a lot of people, they'll put four things on there. you got the wobble like your table and your kitchen chairs or something, something right? If you use three, like an old farmer's milk stool, it's going to balance no matter where you put it, okay? So it's just... It's the way it works. I don't know, it's osmosis or something, you know, photosynthesis, I'm not sure, one of those two. Anyway, so, you put one in the middle front, two, you know, at an angle on the back, kind of like a peace sign, you know. Anyway, uh, get it about one inch off the ground, that'll get more air. Um, and if everything doesn't burn exactly right, we'll probably have to either wobble these out or we'll throw some more holes. We'll see how it goes when it starts this this is just a theoretical, it's never gone. But I've looked at a lot of people's stuff. And uh, I think this is going to do it. I do, I do. Uh, so, now that we have that on, I'll get to this one here, knock him down, give him a little weld in there, but, I don't know, four welds, three welds, something like that. And uh, then we're going to have to go uh, cut a glue uh, out the back. And then we're going to have to do a bunch of years. We're going to have to do some piping. I have some stuff that was just laying over there. I'm not kidding. I have a bunch of stuff over there. And I even have the copper over there. I have a bunch of this. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so, I'm going to take this darn faucet off of here. Actually, that faucet, believe it or not, would help. If you stuck that guy out, you'll cut it down a bit. Well, did it. He drip, 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 and it would still go, and if you had your thing here, you could see your drip. You wouldn't have to make an eye or anything like that, you could just see it. But uh, I might just do that coming out here. My eye, I'm going to come down again. And then uh, make a, not a union, but where they adapt from like a half inch to three quarters, or a half inch to one inch, something like that. Kind of like a funnel, right? And then you can just run a, you know, a little teeny plastic line into it, and undo your valve, and there you see what's happening. It doesn't have to be all that complicated, but we might go extra crazy because I do have the other stuff that I would be doing. With. So there you go with that. That's where we're at today with this one. So I'm gonna get after it, knock this down. Uh, it's Christmas, so I'm going to talk to the family there here uh, in a little while. But with all them in there, it's a little quieter out here. Anywho. Um, and then uh, knock this down, weld it, and then I'll cut the flu tonight. Maybe not the flu, but I'm going to try <laughs> This thing is getting heavier and heavier. I've been lifting this up here, and I'm 62. And uh, it was easy at first. Now it's getting more difficult as you add on the metal, of course. So, anyway. Now, like this, look, I don't know what it's going to look like once a bird. It's going to be different. Anyway, there you go, folks. Thanks a lot. Come back again. Like. Subscribe, comment, good or bad, we like it. So, there you go. I, I should have done this. It looks like I forgot to pull back so you could see me doing the, all this stuff. But you heard it anyway, so dang it, there you go. Thanks a lot.